Well, I don't think I would be sticking myself on buildings and climbing up. It's not so funny. Maybe flying would be interesting. Welcome to the studio show. Coming up, find out if we put your questions to the boss with hashtag AskToto. We explain how an F1 engine works. And I have got a sneak peek of the W07 for you as it hit the paint shop over the weekend. There are only 39 sleeps until the Australian Grand Prix and only 12 sleeps until the team reveals the W07 at the Circuit de Catalunya in Barcelona. So it seems a pretty good time to catch up with Toto Wolf. As you know, we asked you all to send in some questions for hashtag AskToto and we were inundated. So Toto, let's get straight into it. Difficult the ones? They're not too difficult. I think okay. you'll know the answers. I hope you'll know the answers. So the first one comes from Manolis on Twitter. What do you think is the best part of your job? The best part of my job? Well, there is many interesting bits. Um, probably the part I like the most is developing the organization. I keep uh, spend a lot of time in talking about, uh, about in thinking about how we can um, develop capability um, beyond the single individual. And I like that bit a lot. Mark, hashtag 46, has been in touch on Twitter and says, um, if you could have any superpower for a day, what would it be and why? Well, I don't think I would be sticking myself on buildings and climbing up. It's not so funny. Maybe flying would be interesting. Flying would be a good one. I but like I'm that. just thinking how to commercialise that. Who would be interested in me flying around? Perfect. Thank you for that question, Mark. Um, Steph has asked, um, you're trapped on a deserted, desert, deserted island. Um, name your companion food and a CD that you couldn't live without? Live without. My companion for sure would be my wife. That's nice. Um, what else can I have? A CD and some food. What does Susie like? What would you have? You'd have, you'd have to have some food that you both like. Yeah, well, That'd be no good. she couldn't possibly choose the CD because she has the worst taste in music. Okay. She's really in the 70s and 80s and lots of Scottish stuff. So it's very difficult for me. Uh, so I need to choose the music. What would I choose? Um, I don't know, she doesn't like my music either. So let's drop the music bit. Okay, so no music. Maybe you could just sing to each other. That would be nice. That's even worse. Okay, lovely. Uh, food, that. we are both into Asian food. Okay. So probably if there would be a Chinese around the corner on the deserted island, it would be nice. And Martin has asked, does Susie, back to Susie again, does she tell you how to drive when she's a passenger or do you think you're a better driver than her? Ooh, that's a tricky question. Um, Who's better? No, I think she's, it's hard for me to admit that, but I think she's the better driver. Yeah. For, so for all the guys out there, if your wife is a better driver, you can admit that. I know it's very hard, um, but I, I realize that. But I drive. Well, thank you very much. So that's all we've got time for during the studio show, but keep an eye on the channel because we'll have the full length Twitter Q&A with Toto coming soon. It's a busy time of year for Toto, but it's also a busy time for Lewis and Nico. In the last studio show, I showed you them both training in preparation for the new season. But now let's take a look at an event they went to at the Salon International de la Haute Horlogerie with IWC. Now, some exciting news on the development of the W07. It passed all its crash tests, which means the team is ready to go racing in 2016. But before the car takes to the track, it needs a serious makeover. So it spent last weekend in the paint shop. Here are just a few snaps to whet your appetite. Not long now until we see the complete car. getting so excited for the new season but now seems a good time to look back to last year and in particular to the team's championship winning engine. This is the 2015 Mercedes Formula One power unit. Um, these are the exact units that were used for Lewis to win the championship. So this won the Grand Prix in USA where Lewis secured the championship. The power unit is made up of two bits, the internal combustion engine and the ERS unit. Start with the internal combustion engine. 
two key ingredients. The first one is fuel, the second one is air. The air goes in to the engine through the compressor, pressure ratio increases the pressure of the air, the temperature increases, and so it comes out of the compressor and goes to an intercooler in the side pod. That cooled air then comes back and comes into the plenum at the top here through these two points. That air then goes through the plenum system into the back of the intake valves and into the combustion chamber. The fuel comes from the fuel tank into the engine. There's a high pressure pump and that pump raises the pressure and then injects it directly into the cylinder to meet the air. Combustion takes place using a conventional spark plug and then the rest of the engine is very conventional. A piston, connecting rod and crankshaft which then transmits the power through and out to the back of the engine, through the flywheel and into the transmission. The ERS system. The ERS system is made up of two electric motors and a battery. The first electric motor, the MGU-H, is connected to the back of the compressor and is mounted between the compressor and the turbine. The exhaust gases that have come back from the combustion process drive the turbine. We recover the energy from those exhaust gases and first it drives the compressor to put the air into the engine. Then any excess energy is absorbed by the electric machine, comes down the cable, through the power electronics and can be stored in the battery. Or we can take it from that power electronics into the second power electronics, through the cable to the second electric machine, the MGUK, which is 120 kilowatts, 160 horsepower, is gear driven onto the crankshaft, which then delivers the power out the back of the engine and adds to the internal combustion engine power. Last week, the cast of Formula One came together at the Zoom charity auction in London. Now, the stars of Formula One had taken pictures throughout the 2015 season, which were then signed and auctioned off during the star-studded gala evening, raising money for the Great Ormond Street Hospital for children. In conjunction with Zoom, the team hosted its own photo competition online and asked you, the fans, to send us your favourite Mercedes-related snap from 2015. The team chose their 20 favourites, and those fans were given a pair of tickets to go to the Zoom event. The team also picked out their overall winner, and their picture was printed and framed alongside all the other auction entries. Congratulations to everybody who went to Zoom and keep an eye on the channel because we'll have more competitions throughout the season. That's it for this week's studio show. I'll be back soon with a full rundown on the W07. Until then, don't forget to subscribe for more from the team.